Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Tutorial Test Prep. Today, we will be going over lesson number two on how to use the Casio FX991EX scientific calculator for the digital SAT math. Quadratic formula. Please note that I will only be covering uses where Casio outshines Desmos. I recommend you use Desmos for most questions. Let's get started. So, first thing we're going to do to figure out the solutions to this question is we're going to hold the equation up next to ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Now I'm going to compare these guys to figure out what a, b, and c are. So a is one, b is negative six, and C is four. So this is a really important part that lots of people tend to forget. Always make sure that if there's a negative sign that you include it. Now we're ready to jump to the calculator. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press menu in the top right. You're gonna scroll down in the menu to where it says equation slash func. Press equals to click on that. Then you're gonna click on where it says polynomial. So click on polynomial by pressing two. And now I want us to put in the degree. So the degree of a quadratic, um, it's the highest power of the polynomial. The degree of a quadratic is two. The highest power is the power of X is two. So we're gonna press two. And you see it gives us this nice menu. So now we're going to type in our ABC. So one, enter, minus six, enter, and four, enter. And now I press enter. And it says three plus root five. And then if you press down, you get three minus root five. And another way you could write that is X equals three plus or minus root five. So this is really helpful because it simplifies the fraction and the radical for you. Whereas if you did this on a graphing calculator or if you did it on Desmos, it would only give it to you as a decimal, which might make it harder for you to figure out the correct answer on the test. Let's try another one. So now that you know what to do, um, pause this video and see if you can do it. All right, so um, first, this one has a little bit of an extra step. We need to, again, compare it to ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. First, you need to realize that this guy is not on the correct side of the equation, so we've got to move him over. So to do that, we're going to subtract x from both sides, and we're going to write it in order of the standard form. So x squared minus x minus 3 equals zero. And now we're going to um, identify ABC. So A is one, B is minus one, and C is minus three. So let me just jot that down really quick. A is one, B is minus one, and C is minus three. Now, let me see with this. I think if we scroll down all the way to the bottom and press enter, it'll just automatically take us back to the top menu. So we're gonna press one, enter. Now we're gonna do, you could press AC to clear it, or you could just type in minus one and it'll just kind of auto right over it. And now we're gonna do negative three. So negative three, enter. And then I press enter. Wow, that is really helpful. And if I press down, I get one minus root 13 over two. So we can write that as one plus or minus root 13 over two. So see, really helpful. Calculator pretty much did all the work for us. So let me check the answer for this guy should be D, which is correct. Okay, so in all of my looking in the tests that have been released up to this point for the digital SAT, 
I've only found one question where this is really helpful, so I'm going to show it to you now. Pause this video, see if you can do it. All right, this one looks pretty nice. So it's x squared minus 2x minus 9 equals 0. And again, we're going to hold up ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And we see that a is 1, b is minus 2, and c is minus 9. OK, so let me jot that down. a is 1, b is minus 2 and C is minus nine. So you either go through the menu or you can click to the bottom and press enter and you can do one, enter, negative two, enter, and negative nine, enter. And now if we press enter, again equals, we get one plus root 10 and one minus root 10. So the solutions are one plus or minus root 10. And you see, they told us one solution is one plus or plus root k. So that's talking about the one with a plus in it. So one plus root 10 is one plus root k. And you see that k is 10. And that is the answer, B. Wow. Um, I'd still say it's important to learn the quadratic formula in case you got a really hard question that tested you on some of the concepts behind it. However, if you have one of these calculators, this can be really, really helpful because this question, this was question 19 of, I believe, um, the harder module. So this is like not an easy question by any means. And you can just straight up get the answer just by using the tools that you already have access to. Hopefully, if you own a calculator like this. OK, that completes the lesson. Please like and subscribe for more digital SAT math content. If you are interested in my tutoring services, the link to my website will be in the description. I tutor all sections of the SAT and all math subjects from about seventh grade to AP slash early college level. Thanks for stopping by, and good luck studying.